Bored at home? Don't know what to draw? I'm Darlene, and here are some fun ideas that you can use over and over again. Number one, draw a bunch of oval shapes with some space in between. Then pick your favorite cartoon characters, animals, or people, and make them peek through or jump through each hole in the ground. You can decorate the ground around your character to match their natural environment, like grass or seaweed, for example. I pretty much spent a whole hour on this page because it was so much fun to draw and just nostalgic. I'm a 90s kid and I watched a lot of Pokemon, Hey Arnold, and SpongeBob. Comment down below and let me know which cartoons are your favorite. Add as many ovals or holes in the ground as you want and try to fill the page. You can even flip the character upside down, showing just their legs. Idea number two. Mash different animals together to create something truly unique. I looked for pictures of insects and bugs, chose three very different ones, and smashed them together. It looks pretty terrifying and my skin is actually crawling just looking at the exoskeleton, but I loved drawing it. Weird, I know. I'm not a fan of drawing butterflies and flowers, but a butterfly centipede ant? Way cool. You can even mash characteristics of the same species, for example, fish. Just look up a chart of the different types of fish and interchange their heads, eyes, bodies, fins, and tails. Or completely make up something of your own. Number three, play with size. Pick something that's really small and make it extremely big, or vice versa. Draw a background that highlights just how big or small the subject is. Maybe you have a giant grasshopper terrorizing New York City. Number four, divide your page into small sections by creating a grid or drawing boxy shapes. Then fill each box with tiny sketches. It almost looks like a comic page, but the images don't have to relate to each other. I'm just drawing whatever pops into my head. I think adding some color makes the drawings look more fun. I decided to go with an overall red theme. If the box looks bland, try adding some patterns in the background. You can draw any random thing like a USB cable. The cool thing is, no matter how boring you think the subject is, it will actually look good when you stand back and look at the whole page. The randomness of each box makes the page fun to explore. If you draw something that you're not proud of, don't immediately erase it. Think of ways that you can transform it or work with it. I'm going to sneak drawing idea number five into this little box. So the idea is to draw any mundane object from as many angles as you can. I'm drawing this pencil sharpener from four different angles. And then to make it look more interesting, give it a cool background. These swirls are meant to make it look as though the objects are being sucked into the abyss. You can also draw an explosion in the background, so it looks like the objects are flying right at you. Idea number six. Construction machinery and old farm equipment can be really fun to draw, especially when they're grimy, rusty, and in bad shape. In this sketch, I love seeing the exposed wires, hydraulic components, and yeah, the intricate details are what makes it look interesting. Number seven, if you ever feel frustrated, go ahead and scribble all over the page. Once you're done hulking out, fill in the spaces using patterns made of lines, 
dots, zigzags, circles, triangles, waves, whatever you like. Oh, and you actually don't need to be angry to do this exercise. It's called a zentangle, and it's actually extremely fun and relaxing. And the most important thing is it helps to keep your pencil moving and the creative gears in your head spinning. So it's a great one to do when you first open your sketchbook. I know what it's like to sit there for 30 minutes just wondering what to draw and then completely losing my motivation. So this exercise makes it really easy to start drawing and almost impossible to stop. I worked on this page until 4 in the morning and my hand almost fell off. I just didn't want to stop. If you run out of ideas, you can always Google the word Zentangle and you'll have more designs than you know what to do with. Again, add some color if you want to make something stand out. Before I get into the next idea, let me introduce my first ever video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. You can find classes on illustration, fine art, animation, graphic design, and so much more. Most classes are under 60 minutes, consisting of short lessons and a class project. I found this class extremely refreshing. If you're not familiar with my channel, I mostly draw realism, so the concepts in this class called Odd Bodies Illustrating Expressive Stylized People by Tom Froze were incredibly exciting for me. And I've always wanted to learn how to draw in a more simplified style. The exercises and ideas that Tom gives us are actually really fun and are exactly what I wanted to incorporate into my sketchbook. For example, one exercise is to draw a random odd shape and try to creatively fit a person inside of that shape. He walks through his thought process along the way, which was really helpful, and I also really like his drawing style. On Skillshare, you can join class discussions, share your work, and be inspired by other creative people just like yourself. With a premium membership, you get unlimited access to all classes. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month, and right now the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two-month free trial of premium membership, so you can explore your creativity. So definitely consider checking it out. Alright, let's get back to drawing idea number 8. An exercise which came from Tom's Skillshare class, where you draw a random shape that has less than 10 sides and then try to fit a person in there using bold, confident lines. I really love his drawing style, so I'm going to try drawing like him. This stylized type of drawing is very new to me, and I find it so freeing because I can just bend limbs in inhumanly ways and really stretch my imagination. Every new random shape that I make is unique, so I get a brand new challenge every time. And then just figuring out where each body part will fit and being forced to play things by ear makes the finished illustration so satisfying. This is a super enjoyable creative exercise that you really should try. I just discovered that I love drawing hands, but specifically in this style. And I also love drawing toes, there's something kind of funny about them. 
I really hope you try this one because it's a lot of fun and super satisfying. So what do you like to draw when you're bored? Share your ideas below! Don't forget to check out the description if you want to get a 2 month free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. That offer applies to the first 1000 people to click the link. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next one!